Hi everybody, welcome to my top 10 places in Argentina. Let's get straight into it. Perito Marino Glacier is home to Patagonia's Los Glaciers National Park, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The small village of El Calafate offers plenty of accommodation options and other facilities for visitors. From this town, the majority of visitors embark on excursions to view the park's well-known glaciers, especially the magnificent Perito Marino Glacier. A vast 30 kilometer long ice formation and the third largest freshwater reserve in the world located just 78 kilometers from the town. The biggest tourist center for the glacier, which bears the name of a 19th century explorer, is only two and a half hour drive from El Calafate. There are ice trekking tours offered for individuals who want to climb the glacier, ranging from shorter one hour walks across the ice, formation to larger five hour excursions. Another important feature of Los Glaciers National Park is the 3,359-metre-tall Monte Fitzroy, a stunningly beautiful mountain straddling the border with Chile that is reputably harder to climb than Everest. Next on our list is Ushuaia. For people who would like to experience remoteness, this is the place for you. It is said on a well-known sign in Ushua that this is the fin del mundo, the actual end of the earth, more than 3,000 kilometers south of Buenos Aires on the edge of the Beagle Channel is where Tierra del Fuego, Argentine's remote capital. It serves as the entryway to the untamed Tierra del Fuego National Park, the world's most southern railway line, various winter sports facilities and the departure point for cruises to Antarctica which is just 1,000 kilometers away. Number three on our list is the Tierra del Fuego National Park, which covers 156,000 acres, stretching from Beagle Channel to the Chilean border and northward to Lago Kami. There are trails for hikers of every school level, making it a hiking paradise. Adventurers can use the town of Ushua as a base to explore the park's breathtaking environment, which includes everything from high waterfalls, deep woods and mountains to stunning glacier-fed lakes like Roca and Fagnano. Senda Costera, a coastal trail from Isenada Bay to Lake Roca that offers the ability to witness a diverse range of animals, including Andean condors, is one of the most well-known routes. You can take a ride on the magnificent Southern Fugian Railway, sorry, Railway, a beautiful old steam train that travels through the park to Cardin de Toro, if you'd rather take in the sights and comfort. Next on our list is the capital, Buenos Aires. Buenos Aires is home to sultry tango clubs, boisterous football games, lovely barrios, which are neighborhoods, ancient cemeteries, and top-notch museums. It also has a vibrant nightlife. It has everything you could possibly want from a large city experience. The Argentine capital is, above all, a great place to eat out. Its perilous steakhouses, including Don Julio, which 50 greatest rated the greatest restaurants in Latin America in 2020 serve what may, what may be the world's best beef. Additionally, there are a ton of international restaurants selling everything from Peruvian to Armenian food, with ice cream shops on almost every block. Due to the size of Buenos Aires, it is advantageous to stay close to the regions you intend to see. Recoleta, Retiro, Palermo, and San Telmo each have a unique combination of attractions, dining options, and local Next flavor. Next is Parque Nacional Ibera. This is the place for bird watching, 
More than 360 species of birds live in the hot, humid marshes of this recently established national park in northern Argentina, including kingfishers, jabiru, storks and rosette spoonbills. The reserve, often known as the Argentine Pantanal, is undertaking a significant rewilding process that includes the introduction of rare or threatened species, like red-shouldered macaws. The ideal way to explore its reed-lined waterways and lagoons is by boat, from which tourists may also expect to see a variety of species and reptiles, including caimans and capybaras, the largest rodent in the world. Next on our top 10 list is Mendoza. This city is unquestionably one of Argentina's most stunning cities. Its Art Deco buildings make it a favourite among outdoor enthusiasts year-round. Skiers from all over South America flock to the well-known resorts of Los Leos, known for its challenging terrain, and Los Penitentes, located just 25 kilometres from Chile's border. When the snow starts to fall, to experience some of the best ski slopes in the Andes. These same places are popular in the summer, with hikers and climbers, many of whom have their sights set on the 6,960 metre tall Conguel Mountain. Whitewater rafting and trail riding are two more outdoor pursuits. Some equestrian stables even offer overnight camping excursions. Mendoza is also well known for its production of olive oil. It is home to numerous museums, annual festivals and a vibrant central market, the Mercado Central, where people shop for fruit, meat and seafood, as well as where tourists may find food stores and establishments for eating. Next is the Peninsula Valdez, which is best for whale watching. Life abounds in the chilly seas of Peninsula Valdez, a protrusion of northeastern Patagonia into the Atlantic. They are also home to elephant seals, sea lions and orcas, as well as more than 180 different species of birds. They are a breeding area for endangered southern right whales, which arrive in their hundreds between mid-June and mid-December. This UNESCO World Heritage Site may be reached from the town of Puerto Madryn and provides a range of boat, kayaking and diving activities. However, marine life is frequently visible from the shore. The largest colony of Magellanic penguins in South America is found at Punta Tombo, 250 kilometres south of Puerto Madryn. Number 8 on our list is the Parque National Los Glaciares which is best for awesome glaciers. This park in southern Patagonia is one of Argentina's most famous tourist destinations. It spans more than 5,900 square metres, with iceberg-filled lakes, craggy Andean hills, and most notice noticeably enormous glaciers. The northern part, a paradise for hikers and climbers, is best visited from the undeveloped community of El Chartan while the southern section, known for the Perito Marino Glacier, is accessible from the tourist resort of Al Calafate. Next is the breathtaking Iguazu Falls, which is located along Argentina's border with Brazil. These enormous waterfalls, which are protected as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, are unquestionably one of South America's most breathtaking views. Thanks to a network of easily accessible walkways and viewing platforms created to provide the greatest views, including some near the bottom of the falls, a location known as the Devil's Throat, visitors can get pretty close to these thundering falls. Iguazu is actually made up of between 150 and 300 distinct falls along its roughly 3 km edge, with the exact number shifting according on the season. The falls range in height from 60 to 82 metres and are all equally beautiful. It's rather simple to go to, especially if you're travelling from Buenos Aires, as it is serviced by an international airport in Argentina and one in neighbouring Brazil. Last but not least is the Argentinian Lake District, which is famous for its stunning landscapes. 
It is simple to understand why Argentina's Lake District is a popular destination for tourists, given the region's glistening bodies of water, emerald green woods, and soaring mountains and volcanoes covered in snow. The charming lakeside city of Bariloque serves as the entry point to this lush region, which is located in Patagonia's northwest. In the nearby Parc National Nahue Hapi, you can choose from a wide range of outdoor activities, including hiking, mountain biking, fishing, kayaking and skiing. In winter, Bariloque becomes Argentina's premier ski hub. It's a busy time at the resorts around the city, but the powder is some of the world's best. Look out for my next video, Top 10 Places to Visit in Chile. Please like and subscribe, and feel free to make a comment below. Thanks for watching.